Running a YouTube channel can be really time intensive, even if it's just a hobby. But for the creators I know who've made it their full-time job, it's not uncommon to see work weeks over 50 or even 60 hours. And for many, the video making process eats up most of their schedule, which is why I'm always on the lookout for anything that saves me hours or even minutes of work. And the wonderful folks over at Riverside gave me the opportunity to make this video. I think their tool is great and I'm very grateful to them. So in this video, I will show you how I've started utilizing the app to save countless hours. And if you've heard of Riverside before, I hope you'll still stick around because they've been adding a lot of new useful features that I'll be covering here. Okay, obviously you can't edit a video without footage. And if like me and the channels I work on, you sometimes need to chat with someone or record an interview for a video, Riverside is in a unique position to make the process so much easier. When recording on the platform, the audio and video files will be saved separately, so they can be loaded into an editing timeline separately. Fixing audio flubs is basically instant, because if, say, a door slams like that in someone's audio during a meeting, I can easily cut it out of the audio track rather than using something like Adobe Audition to try and manually clean it up from the merged audio. And no, I'm not very good at cleaning up audio like this. Before Riverside, I just used Google Meet or Zoom and screen record on my computer. Not only is this not the most high resolution option, but I didn't even have video of me, so I'd have to record that separately onto an SD card. And because I was screen recording, my audio and the guest audio would all be on the same track, so trying to cut out a mistake like breathing into the mic was a nightmare. Now I have more control in the Riverside studio and I save time while doing things more professionally. Okay, another time saver. So most of the basic editing for footage like this, like cutting out silence and adding captions, can be done with just a click. Like in this interview we recorded for an upcoming going indie video, I can create the episode, edit the captions or opt out of them, and make changes within the transcript. Edits made here are really simple. I can select the sentence I want to remove and delete. When I'm done, I export the file. I don't have to bother taking it into Premiere just to make a few cuts and export again there, which is what I used to do when making simple edits for past interviews. For a full episode like this, it might go right to our Patreon, but clips like ones for shorts can be made in a similar way. Magic Clips will generate clips that I can edit within Riverside, just like with a full episode. It tries to pick the best moments automatically, but any changes are easy to make. Now, I wanna take a step back and talk about what actually makes this tool valuable for me specifically. Because I probably wouldn't really recommend it if these basic features are all it did. I gotta be honest. They're pretty useful for any interviews I wanna conduct, which I've done, but a lot of what I do is outside of this context. So truly, the one feature that they added that really makes Riverside more of a general purpose tool I genuinely want to recommend to my creator friends is the fact that I can upload footage to the platform. And this is the true time saver. When I'm researching for a video, I often find a bunch of on-topic podcasts or talks that I may wanna use as a source in my video. These podcast episodes or TED Talks might be over an hour long, but instead of watching them all manually, I have the option to upload the whole thing to Riverside and it will make a transcription I can read through if I want, which would be faster than watching. What's so great is that from that, AI show notes will summarize the footage, show me key takeaways from it, and cut it up into organized chapters. It's so much better than what I was doing before, which is basically just making my own timestamps during my research phase. If later I remembered a clip I saw and wanted to include it but forgot where the timestamp was, I'd usually just go to the video on YouTube and dig for it. This ability to upload and transcribe outside footage is a game changer in terms of efficiency. It allows me to leverage existing video and audio without spending hours manually digging. This not only accelerates my research process, but it makes it easier to write when the time comes as well. So I can save all that time in the research phase, and with the footage I want to use, I can make clips, edit and export within a transcript, and add captions, all in the same easy workflow. And that's how I plan to keep leveraging Riverside to speed up my video making process on the channels I'm working on. So if you want to help me thank Riverside, I'd much appreciate it. Consider clicking on the link in the description to check out their tool and see if it's right for your process. All right, thanks for watching everyone. I'm pretty busy working on quite a few projects right now, but I should be back soon with more videos. Cheers.